क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी टू वट इज द लॉ ऑफ ब्लैसमी सेक्शन टू नाइन्टी फाइव सी द लॉ ऑफ ब्लैसमी सेक्शन टू नाइन्टी फाइव सी इन पाकिस्तान स्पिनल कोड रीड एज फॉलोज हु एवर बाई वर्ड्स आई द स्पोकन और रिटर्न और बाई विजिबल रिप्रजेंटेशन और बाई एनी इम्पूटेशन इन यूएनडो और इन सीन्यूएशन डायरेक्टली और इन डायरेक्टली डिफाइज द सेक्रेड नेम ऑफ द होली प्रॉफिट शैल बी पनिशेबल विद डेथ और इम्प्रिजमेंट फॉर लाइफ एंड शैल बी लाइबल टू फाइन This law pertains to any individual using derogatory remarks whether spoken written or expressed indirectly that defile the name of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the penalty for such an offense can be the death penalty life imprisonment and a fine question number 43 what is imtinae qadianiyat ordinance this ordinance was passed in 1984 and consists of two sections 298b and 298c respectively At the moment they are part of the constitution of Pakistan the details of these sections are mentioned below section 298b misuse of epithets description and titles etc reserved for certain holy personages or places point number 1 any person of the qadiani group or the lahori group who call themselves ahmadis or by any other name who by words either spoken or written or by visible representation a refers or to or addresses any person other than a caliph or companion of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as amirul mu'minin khalifatul mu'minin khalifatul muslimin sahabi aur radhi tala anhu point b refers to or addresses any person other than the wife of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as ummahatul mu'minin c refers to or addresses any person other than a member of the family of ahle bayt of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam as ahle bayt or D refers to or names or calls his place of worship as masjid shall be punishable with imprisonment of either description of a term which may extend to 3 years and shall also be liable to fine point number 2 any person of the qadiani group or lahori group who call themselves ahmadis or by any other name who by words either spoken or written or by visible representation refers to the mode or form of call to prayers followed by his faith as azan or recites azan as used by the muslims shall be punished with the imprisonment of either description of a term which may extend to 3 years and shall also be liable to fine according to this act qadianis members of the amdia community are prohibited from using islamic symbols islamic titles or titles of reference associated with islam titles like sahabi companion of the prophet khalifatul khalifatul masih caliph of masih or ummahatul mu'minin mothers of believers which are sacred in islam cannot be used by the followers of mirza gulam ahmed qadiani now section 298c person of qadiani group etc calling himself a muslim or preaching or propagating his faith any person of the qadiani group or the lahori group who call themselves as ahmadis or by any other name who directly or indirectly poses himself as a muslim or calls or refers to his faith by words either spoken or written or by visible representation or in any manner whatsoever outrages the religious feelings of muslims shall be punished with the imprisonment of either description of a term which may extend to 3 years and shall be liable to fine under this section qadianis are not allowed to identify themselves as muslims they cannot preach their religious beliefs or conduct their religious activities in a way that resemble islamic practice they are also prohibited from using loud speakers for calling to prayer azan or any other practices that might hurt the feelings of muslims These laws are part of Pakistan's legal framework and violations of these laws can result in severe penalties. Question number 44 Why Qadianis are not getting rights in Pakistan like other minorities? Qadianis are considered as a non-Muslim minority. This fact is acknowledged, accepted and established in Pakistan's legal framework including its constitution. The entire Pakistani population including Muslims recognizes this legal status. However Qadianis themselves do not accept this classification and identify themselves as a part of the Muslim majority in other words they do not acknowledge that they belong to a minority community Qadianis call themselves Muslims they don't call themselves non Muslims they don't abide the laws which have been established for them how will they get those rights that non Muslim minorities get they do not include themselves in the non Muslim minority it's a simple matter the hindu is calling him or herself a hindu so he or she is getting uh, their rights as non muslim in pakistan the christian is calling him or herself as a christian so he or she is getting a rights as non muslim in the same way people of other religions are being identified by their identity so they are getting their rights as well while the qadianis are not calling themselves as non muslim minority 
they are not including themselves into the non-Muslim population. But they refer to themselves as Muslims. How can they get rights as a non-Muslim minority? 